Hello world, from whichever time zone you're catching me from, my name is MD90. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If you're not subscribed to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button, turn on the bell notification to all so you do not miss the uploads that come up. And uh, the easiest way for you, for you to navigate the channel is to head to the playlist. You'll find videos curated for you based on your interest. So if you're interested in the Kutika podcast, you'll find a playlist for that for news and trends. There's a playlist for that Exclu exclusive with MD90, a bunch of uh, playlists that are created based on your interest. So the easiest way to navigate the channel is head straight to the playlist and you'll find what you're here for. Now consider becoming a member of the channel. Uh, right next to the subscribe button is the join button. You click on the join button uh, so that you can become a member of the channel. Uh, you support the team on the production and the number of things that we're doing here and uh, we appreciate that. Well, President Haga Inde Ichidema has been conferred another honorary uh, doctorate. Uh, so th those are some of the images that the president uh, shared from uh, his UK visit. That's where he received that honorary doctorate. This should be the second one that he's receiving. I received another one earlier on. So Chile Tukuta reacted to them. He is now a lecturer. Let him continue getting a doctorate. Kaidi is good at lecturing, not leading. So Chile Tukuta put up that post and then took it down. Then he kept on putting up other posts with regard to the uh, doctorate that the president has been conferred with. So these are some of the images that are coming from uh, the UK where the president is, where he gave a speech and also received that doctorate. Uh, and then the president had uh, this message to say, accompanying in uh, the pictures that he had shared. So he says, fellow citizens, uh, we are this morning conferred with an honorary doctorate by Harold uh, Watts University during the ceremony of the, um, at the Eden, uh, uh, Edenberg uh, campus. Uh, coming from a humble rural background, we hope this serves as an inspiration for millions of our young people uh, from uh, disadvantaged uh, uh, backgrounds uh, who are currently receiving free education uh, bursaries and skill training. We will continue to promote education as I truly believe it's the greatest uh, investment um, and uh, equalizer and uh, inheritance for a citizen. We, uh, we are thankful uh, to Harold Watts uh, University provi for providing us a full scholarship for Zambian students uh, in various uh, academic fields, including uh, renewable energy, business administration, and uh, called the storage. Uh, president Haga in the HDMI, President of the Republic of Zambia, he signs it off there. So uh, that's a message that accompanied those uh, pictures. Uh, Emmanuel Mwamba, the message also to pretty much uh, uh, reiterating to say what uh, President Haga in the HDMI is receiving is an honorary confinement of a degree or a doctorate. That's, uh, so he accompanies uh, a message to that. Uh, Munia Zulu also congratulates uh, President Haka Inde Ichirema with uh, some of the images that were shared earlier on. Dr. Nevas Mumba has also sent his own message with regard to the same. And then Fred Member had this to say, honorary degree of economic advancement of uh, Haka Inde, he shortens his name there, not, uh, not Zambia to a papa, so he simply says that honorary doctorate only applies to President Haka Inde Ichirema and not the nation at, at, at large. And uh, Fred member doubles down with a message uh, stating why he thinks that is only benefits President Haka Inde Ichirema and not the nation at large. So Fred member says, what economic advancement has he achieved? For example, Muchinga province uh, poverty levels since 2003 moved from 80, moved to 82% from uh, 69% in 2021. Uh, is this economic ad, um, advancement? He asks, uh, telling lies and the new fashion way. So he simply says uh, that honorary degree does not benefit the nation. What is the PF also <laughs> posted a picture to say that honorary degree is equivalent to what Bob and Usambo also received. So that's the image from um, Smart Eagles. It was also posted on the PF. They say, ladies and gentlemen, we give you Dr. Uh, Bowman uh, Chilosha Dusambo and Dr. Haka Inde, I mean, Haka Inde Sami Hichilema, they say. 
And then uh, the PF also further on to say, um, Mao Sampa is part of the entourage that has accompanied the president to the UK for that confinement. And then uh, Mao Sampa shared an image to say, uh, Luquesa Burak was born in Zambia, he says, uh, and she served um, at the BBC at some point. I don't know if she still works for the BBC. But the PF uh, say Mao Sampa, Robert Chavinga, and Vincent Daka in the UK the renegade MPs are in the entourage of President Haga in the HDMI in this picture, and they share that. So that's what they allege to say that they're part of the presidential entourage. Chira Tukuta went further with regard to say, Impiasha life uh, is, is spiritual, a doctorate, Nash Fuma, to many of my NRC. So you see, probably he has also deleted that, he keeps on uh, tweeting or posting, and then deletes more like just throwing shade at the president's. Um, on a degree, what is the JJ's uh, predicament has uh, taken a huge twist. Uh, if you remember last night's broadcast when I stated to say it was alleged that he was being transported to the Eastern Province. Well, as of this morning, it was confirmed. He was actually transported last night, which is true. So he's in the Eastern Province and more details have come out or surfaced with regard to his situation because the police have given uh, an official statement of what's going on. So Chief Etayari also posted this uh, last night and then he alleged the vehicle that you see on the left, that's a vehicle that JJ was transported in. So Chief Etayari said what um, the state is doing everything they can uh, to conceal JJ's abduction and to hear any, uh, well, here he has been taken to Eastern Province uh, to charge him with uh, murder. So uh, that allegation was given by Chief Etayari last night. And it uh, seems like people had this information prior to it even leaking. And then he confirmed it. Finally, they have charged him with aggravated robbery and attempted murder in Shipata. Petauka Central is going for a by-election, as Gilbert Dusaniso had informed us. So if you remember, there was a screenshot that was going making rounds uh, where Gilbert Rusaniso uh, was stating to say Peter Uke is going to have a by-election and uh, alleged that in Kana, and a number of seats, even yesterday's broadcast, uh, there was an allegation uh, which was attributed to Moritator to say he had listed a number of uh, uh, constituencies that are going to have a by-election. Obviously, JJ's uh, constituency, which is Peter Uke Central, in Kana uh, for being on Mpundu, and then Mfue for uh, that lady that gave a statement on JJ Banda and uh, also Munia Zulu's seat. So it seems like it's playing out. So, and then Chief Etali went further, he posted a video to say, uh, Gilbert Risaniso is already on ground in Petauke Central doing campaigns even before they announced. So it seems like they are bracing themselves for a by election because the charges that JJ has been given, I, I don't think he's, he's able to get uh, a bail. Uh, I don't think there's bail or, or something to for him to be functional outside for murder. Um, you people that know the law, they state if otherwise. But those cases that he's been given can will not allow him to, to be outside. So he's going to stay in police custody, which is going to compel parliament to call for by-election. So this is a video uh, which Chief Etayari alleges to say, give us a is right now in Petauga Central doing campaigns. So uh, the, the person that you see in white, that's Gilbert Risoniso with the, uh, a number of uh, PF, I mean, UPND individuals alleged to be in Petauke right now, already doing campaigns in preparation for the announcement by ECZ of uh, the vacancy of uh, Petauke Central seat, uh, stating that uh, JJ Banda is not a, a member of parliament anymore, considering the charges that have been leveled against him. So uh, we're here to see how that plays out, but otherwise that's likely to be the case. They were likely to be by elections in Petauke Central. Uh, that's what's going on. 
So uh, what else is here with regard? And then this is a statement that was officially given by the uh, police a couple of uh, minutes ago, 51 minutes ago to be specific. So the police state, uh, this is the side of the story. They say arrest of Honorable JJ Banda, member of parliament, uh, June 20th, 2024. The Zambia Police Service wish to inform the public that um, of the formal arrest of Honorable J. Uh, Banda, a member of parliament for Petawuke Central in connection with a serious criminal offense. Honorable Banda has been arrested for the offense of aggravated uh, robbery contrary to a section that's called the constitution there and uh, also of my alleged murder. Uh, the alleged crimes were committed uh, on December 14th uh, in 2015, uh, 2015 um, at approximately 15 hours at um, Muzingwa Primary School in Vubui District, Eastern Province. The incident involved the theft of uh, property valued at uh, 12,000 uh, uh, broken down as uh, follows. So the amount that is alleged this crime was committed for is 12,000 kwacha. Uh, a Canon camera valued at 10,000 kwacha. Uh, spectacles valued at uh, 1,800. Two ATM cards and uh, cash amounting to 200 kwacha. The victim of the incident is uh, Mr. Peter uh, Shukwa um, Muchelenga. So they say Honorable Banda has been uh, re reminded uh, in uh, custody at Chipata Central Police Station. That's why it was confirmed to say actually, yes, he was moved to Eastern Province uh, last night. He is scheduled, uh, scheduled to appear in court soon to face uh, these charges. Uh, the Zambia Police uh, Service uh, reiterates its commitment to upholding the rule of law, ensuring that justice is served regardless of the status or position of individuals involved. We urge the public to remain calm and allow judicial process to take its course. Uh, Ray Amonga, police public relations uh, um, officer. So that's a statement coming from the police officially. Uh, what is Miyazuru also weighed in with regard to the situation that's happening to JJ Banda? He says, this is Miyazuru's statement. Whatever is being done to JJ will soon hurt uh, some people who think power is permanent. While I do not um, uh, promote violence, retribution, or uh, revenge, it is known, it is a known fact that Kama's history and reputation of repeating itself, Kama always finds its, its way. Uh, that's a statement coming from Munia Zulu. Uh, Fred Menwe has also weighed in on uh, the shrinking democracy in Zambia. On uh, Bujeje Banda's uh, uh, being treated uh, barbaric way by the UPND government. I am not here to judge uh, what Emmanuel JJ Banda has done or has not done, but he is not being treated like a human being and he has not been uh, treated in accordance with our laws. It is um, at this rate. They are going uh, at least that uh, we are going. Zambia can uh, lose Emmanuel uh, as he has been uh, pushed to severe limits of human being as a human being, and he signs it off as a Fred Membe, president of the Socialist Party. That's uh, what Fred Membe thinks of that situation. While this uh, congratulations to Topson Pethia School has been appointed as a new Chitambo district uh, commissioner. Finally, he has got the appointment that he was looking for. So congratulations to him. Uh, he was a candidate in Mukushi on the UPND ticket. And he had uh, done a number of live streams where he was complaining to be in neglected. And uh, finally, he's got an appointment. So that's what's going on, ladies and gentlemen. If anything comes up, I'll keep you posted.